ICICI Prudential AMC has come out with an interesting NFO, ICICI Prudential Transportation and Logistics Fund. As the name suggests, this fund will ride on the potential that transport and logistics sectors have to offer. What is that potential? Who should invest in it? Should you invest in it? What are the risks? I'll tell you all of it in today's video, so stay tuned till the end. I'm Aprajita, a certified financial planner and a financial journalist, and you're watching my YouTube channel. But before we begin the video, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to keep receiving notifications on interesting developments in the investment space. Transportation and logistics sectors can be safely called the growth engines of the economy. So essentially, there are three sectors at play in the transportation and logistic theme. First, Auto Original Equipment Manufacturers OEMs, and these are two-wheelers, three-wheelers, tractors and personal vehicles. Second, Auto Components or Ancillaries such as batteries, tires and electronics. Third, Logistics such as Supply Chain or Rail or Shipping. No brainer that auto equipment and auto ancillaries have huge potential to grow as India grows. So India's per capita GDP is expected to reach $3,000 by FY25 and $4,700 by FY30. And if per capita GDP grows, so will discretionary spend. And we have a long way to go in auto penetration if we compare ourselves with advanced economy. Then there is expected EV disruption that will be another catalyst for transportation sector's growth. Logistics sector is another structural growth story as e-commerce business flourishes. After all, you do need your dresses, shoes, laptops, smartphones and food at your doorstep. And for that, you do need logistics service providers. So far, unorganized players have had larger market share. But the shift from unorganized to organized has just started. Moreover, Government too is focused on sector's overall growth and development. Recently launched national logistic policy is aimed at promoting seamless movement of goods and also improving competitiveness. Transportation and logistics has been a beaten down theme, meaning companies from these sectors have underperformed the broader markets. Data shows that Nifty Transportation and Logistic Index has given just flat returns over the last five years. So that makes it a good time to bet on these sectors. But remember, it is a thematic fund and thematic funds are less diversified compared to say a large cap or a mid cap fund. So conservative investors should stay away from it. But if you truly believe in the growth story of transportation and logistics sectors, then go ahead and do it. But Keep a time horizon of at least 5 years when you are investing in transportation and logistic fund. Both sectors are coming out of the woods and there are more legs to recovery. The NFO opens on 6th October and closes on 20th October. You need to invest minimum 5000 to subscribe to this NFO and once the initial subscription period is over and the NFO goes live, then you can start SIP in this fund with lower amount. But for now, minimum 5,000 rupees investment is a must. I hope you now have a fair understanding of what ICICI Potential Transportation and Logistic Fund has to offer. If you have any queries, then please ask me those in the comments below. I'll come back soon with another investment video. Till then, keep investing.